It's time for some hard drive destruction. Uh, want to see what my 22 will do to the hard drive platters. These hard drives need to be erased, uh, but they were bad. The boards were bad, so there was no way to use uh, autoclave or HD clear on them. Of course, I run the magnetic degausser over it and erase them anyway, but... You know, I like to break up the uh, the platters, these right here. That's where the actual data is stored on this disc. I've already removed the covers, and uh, I removed the boards because they were bad. But these are inside of the inside of hard drives. That's what they look like, like little CDs. Uh, just curious what my 22 would do to them. This is my Walther P22. Uh, I've had this for uh, maybe 20 years. It's been a long time. But anyway, these have been sitting waiting for processing or destruction by me. Uh, I didn't really feel like taking these to, to work and finding the hard drive sh shredder we have. We actually, you know, have a hard drive shredder. Uh, it's kind of not able to get to it right now uh it's in a s secure uh but anyway you know there's security these are my personal hard drives uh so i don't always mix work and personal but anyway you know i could probably take the grinder and cut these discs up i mean i'm sure the data is long gone by now but i like it to be 1000 percent gone you know, I run uh, autoclave and hard drive clear and all that when it's a functional hard drive. But these, the boards were bad, so these wouldn't actually run. Uh, and uh, so we're going to shoot these and uh, see what happens. Okay, I'm all done. Uh, I used the CCI Stinger 22 long rifle. They're hollow points. I didn't feel like doing a whole lot because debris was flying all over the place. But this is what a 22 would do. I don't think anybody can re spindle this and use it on any other, you know, hard drive. As you'd see, just 22 did go all the way through it. It probably would have done the same thing even if I left the covers on. But I just wanted to see uh, the damage it would do. I only shot uh, 20 shots, and it was kind of dark outside. And I was holding the phone in one hand and my 22 in the other. You know, if it was daytime and I had a proper range or set up you know it'd be a little easier for me but uh you know i just wanted to have a little fun just kind of show you the results i thought it was kind of cool uh yeah i was wearing a face shield and, you know long pants and all that crap but uh yeah i didn't do very good on this one that's all right it's still destroyed and been erased with it 
magnet system. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 pretty good. I mean, this is not too bad, but but yeah, you can see it went all the way through through that, and that's just a twenty-two. These discs are fairly tough right here. I don't remember what they're made of. It kind of looks like platinum, but I'm not really sure what it is, but I used to play with these all the time as a kid. I would take apart the hard drives, hang them from a mirror. Well, not a kid. I mean, I'm like 48 years old, so uh, maybe as a late teenager, young adult, or whatever you want to call it. I used to have some of these hanging on my wall, hanging from my rear view mirror. But they didn't have important data on them like these. But anyway, yeah, I used these CCI uh, 22 long rifle stinger rounds. These are hollow point, and they still, they did fairly well. I mean, this is what they look like. It's not much of a hollow point, but it kind of hard to focus with the phone but you know you barely got a little hole there it's 22 it's not a massive round i'm sure i could destroy these with nine millimeter or 223 or 762 by 39 i would obliterate these but you know i don't want to make that much noise and do that much destruction but anyway uh, I think they're good enough. I think I can throw them away now. I did uh, degauss them, which would erase everything magnetically. And they're tore up enough. Ain't nobody going to dig these out of the trash. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Have a good day.